Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken Neal, photographer Randall and Roof. And today is Thursday, November the 21st, 2013 AD. And today I'm looking at the VB-S900F or VB-S900F uh, security camera. And I thought I'd do a little video about it because it's a new product from Canon. And let's see, let's talk about 96 degree wide angle of view. That's pretty good. 2.1 megapixel CMOS sensor. I'll get back to that in a minute. ONVIF profile S. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Onboard video and analytics. Um, not sure what that means. It's pre probably pretty much like uh, when you have a digital camera or a, a, a still camera. Or a, they're all digital nowadays, most of them. But anyway, when you have a still camera and it shows you, you know, the highs and the lows of the color. I assume it's kind of like that for video, but I'm not, to be honest, I don't know. Um, H.264 uh, format, which is a motion JPEG. Or maybe maybe it's H2 point, or H.264 or motion JPEG. I don't know. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really up on my video formats. I know Motion JPEG is a format and H.2.64 is a format. So maybe you can record either one. I'm not sure. I assume that's how that works. Uh, like, yeah, I'm not, I don't really keep up on these video. I mean, as long as I can edit it in, you know, iMovie or on my computer, I don't really care what the format is. I just want the best quality possible. So I'm not one of these guys that keeps up on the format. I know... Motion JPEG is the uh, 4K uh, format for the 1DC um, and H2, H.264 is very popular on a lot of other cameras so maybe they're just, for some reason they're giving you the options which is cool having two options is better than one obviously uh, you know for those who need the H.264 I, I keep wanting to say H2.64 but it's not 2 points it's H.264 H or H point of course motion JPEG um, so overall the only thing that really bothers me about this camera it looks neat I'm sure you can put it in a space where it would be compact and get all the way where people can't see it or if they see it it's not very you know it's not it doesn't draw, it doesn't draw your attention instantly unless you're really looking for it the only thing I see bad about this is the 2.1 megapixel CMOS sensor. Uh, 2.1 megapixels by today's standard is not very much. Um, now, can you make out faces and people? Yeah, if they're not too far away. Um, I just... I think 2.1 megapixels is a cheap way to go. Um, I, don't, you know, I don't know how much they're charging for this camera. Uh, there's no price on it right here. I don't have any access to that information right now. I haven't looked it up. Uh, but 2.1 megapixels in today's, by today's standards, is not much. I mean, everything nowadays has at least 8, if not 16, 8, 12, 16. Um, crap, even the iPhone now has over 5 megapixels. Uh, I think they're working on 8, or they may have 8. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. So, I mean, even your... Most people's cell phones have better than 2.1. My first digital camera uh, had a 2.1 megapixel. And I'll tell you, I was done. In pr I mean, back in the day, I was happy to have a digital camera. Uh, now I'm shooting with 8 megapixels. I'm trying to upgrade to um, the um, the 18. I'd rather have 18 point whatever of the 1DX and the 1DC. I think it's 18.1. Well, I'm pretty sure it's 18.1. But my point is 2.1 is not very many megapixels. I think they're going cheap on this. Uh, maybe it'll suffice for some people. I don't know. I mean, I just... If it was me, I'd want something more than 2.1 megapixels. Um, because I have had experience with a 2.1 megapixel uh, camera. Now, this camera did stills, and it also did video for like 15 seconds. It didn't have a lot of built-in memory, so it can only do uh, 5, 10, or 15 seconds. I mean, it's back in the, back in the day. But... It can only do 5, 10, or 15 seconds worth of video because they don't have so much memory and blah, blah, blah. But my point is, it's 2.1 million pixels. Can you get a decent picture with it? Yeah, if, it, if the lighting is good and the stuff, you know, 
yeah, you can, it'll be okay. But I just, I think they're, I think for reasons I don't know, they're probably chintzing out on this, making this, making this one. Again, maybe that, maybe that's good for a lot of people. Maybe that's all they need. Two point one. I don't know. I don't have a. I don't have anything where uh, security cameras are put in use, or this particular uh, the VB S nine hundred F is in use. And maybe two point one's enough for them. I don't know. But I just I think by today's standards, two point one megapixels is is literally nothing. Um. So I mean, I just I think they're chins out. Other than that, it looks neat. You know, and maybe, like I said, for some people, maybe that's enough. Maybe it's good enough. And, you know, maybe those who just want to say they've got a security system and 2.1 is enough. You know, like, it just, it, personally, if it was me, I would want a higher resolution camera. Okay, knowing what I know about photography and videography. Now, granted, I'm no Spielberg, but I've had enough experience with <laughs> photography and video using my flip camera, using my Canon camera, using... Uh, my Sony camera using the XL1S from Canon. Uh, 2.1 megapixel again, by today's standard, is not much. And I mean, it wouldn't, I can't think that even putting in an 8 or 12 or 16 megapixel sensor in that would be, yes, it would drive the price up a little bit, but uh, I just, 2.1 is not very much. That's all I'm going to say. Um, at least not by today's standards. And as time goes on, it'll be even less. So that's just my opinion. The camera looks nice as far as, you know, it's simple, it's compact for secure, I mean, for, you know, being what it is. I mean, I'm sure they could probably make it smaller and be better, but as far as you know, the size of it. But overall, for what it is and what it does, it's okay. Again, I would obviously change the uh, size of the sensor or the megapixel CMOS but sensor, but aside from that, it looks neat. And I'm sure if you've got uh, security needs, this might be the camera for you. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Check it out. Go to usa.canon.com or b &H or whoever you go to for your photography and video needs. I recommend B&H uh, because they're a great store. Of course, I normally end up buying most of my stuff through Amazon.com because they're a reputable source for buying stuff. However, Amazon's not really... A... <laughs> the reason I say B&H is because they're more knowledgeable about giving you information. Amazon's just there to sell it. b &H is there to sell it, but they also give you support information and they can tell you about what's good, what works, and what doesn't. Whereas Amazon's just more of a store to buy stuff. b &H is a store where you can say, hey, I need this. This is what this is my situation. This is what I need. And they can say, okay, we've got this product and this product for your needs. Or, hey, this, here's this guy over here. He's got, he got this need. Let's get him this and this. He doesn't need this and this. He needs this and this. And that's why I say B&H, call them up or visit their store um, or go online. Uh, again, you can find more information about this camera from them, Amazon.com, or of course go to USA.Canon.com and uh, you can find out all about it, pricing, uh, availability, etc., etc. Uh, so hopefully this, information, uh, <laughs> this information, hopefully this video has given you some information to go by and to think about. Uh, whether you decide to buy it or not, uh, and if you have certain needs, hey, this, this may be the camera for you. I don't know. It may not be the camera, um, depending on what you need and how you're going to implement it. Um, but I want to give you, give you, in this video, I want to give you the facts, give you my opinions on it, and you can go from there. So, with that in mind, I just want to say thanks for watching, have a good day, and may God bless you. Bye.